As in every branch of medicine, before you can begin to take abnormalities, you have to first know what is normal. All four rhythms that will be discussed today are sinus rhythms, that is, cardiac rhythms in which electrical impulses are propagated from the SA node down to the ventricles via a healthy cardiac conduction system. The first rhythm we'll look at is a normal sinus rhythm. With a normal sinus rhythm, a QRS complex follows every single P wave and a P wave precedes every single QRS complex. Although that may sound obvious, the two statements are not equivalent, nor does one automatically entail the other. Another defining feature of sinus rhythm is P waves that are upright in leads 2 and 3 and have a normal wave morphology that remains constant. The heart rate in a patient with sinus rhythm is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. This correlates with an RR interval between 0.6 and 1 second. And finally, the rhythm is regular. That is, the RR interval remains constant. So to quickly recap, with sinus rhythm, an upright P wave of constant morphology precedes every QRS complex with a regular heart rate between 60 to 100 beats per minute. The ECG characteristics of sinus bradycardia are essentially the same as sinus rhythm, but at a slower heart rate. An upright P wave of constant morphology precedes every QRS complex, and a QRS complex follows every single P wave. The heart rate in a patient with sinus bradycardia is less than 60 beats per minute. This correlates with an RR interval of greater than 1 second. And finally, the rhythm is regular. That is, the RR intervals remain constant. So, to quickly recap, with sinus bradycardia, an upright P wave of constant morphology precedes every QRS complex with a regular heart rate slower than 60 beats per minute. The ECG characteristics of sinus tachycardia are essentially the same as sinus rhythm, but at a faster heart rate. An upright P wave of constant morphology precedes every QRS complex, and a QRS complex follows every single P wave. The heart rate in a patient with sinus tachycardia is greater than 100 beats per minute. This correlates with an RR interval of less than 0.6 seconds. And finally, the rhythm is regular. That is, the RR intervals remain constant. So to quickly recap, with sinus tachycardia, an upright P wave of constant morphology precedes every QRS complex with a regular heart rate faster than 100 beats per minute. Respiratory sinus arrhythmia is a benign phenomenon in which the PP interval varies with respiration. The rhythm is regularly irregular, the heart rate increases during inspiration and decreases during expiration. The variation between the shortest and longest cardiac cycle length, that is the PP intervals, is greater than 10% or 120 milliseconds. The heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute, although it may momentarily extend beyond these limits. It is important to note that this is in fact a sinus rhythm. Every QRS complex is preceded by a P wave, which have a constant morphology and are upright in leads 2 and 3. The PR intervals are also constant. To summarize, with respiratory sinus arrhythmia, there is a sino-HL pacemaker as evidenced by upright P waves in leads 2 and 3 with a constant morphology, and there is rhythmic variation in the cardiac cycle length. Now let's briefly review these rhythms.